Today, I'm in Zhuhai at JLC's new additive manufacturing facility. I was in Zhuhai in an earlier video when I show you JLC's PCB manufacturing process. Additive manufacturing is just another word for 3D printing. But in this case, we are using much larger, more precise machines and they can give us more professional results. Next month, JLC is going to update their website at jlcpcb.com and add their additive manufacturing services. You can order a PCB and a professional enclosure for it at the same time. Today, I'm going to show you what kind of output is available and give you a brief introduction to each process. So this building are the one I showed you last time in the video. This is for uh, PCB manufacturing and on the top floor, they have their, they have their FMT service. But their additive department is just a small office in one of these buildings and that's where we are heading to. Alright, now we are at GLC 3D Printing's Industry SLA department and there are around 20 to 30 machines here are working and one of them is printing my model and now I'm going to take it out and show it to you. Wow, looks great! I'm going to collab more on 3D printing projects with JLC in the upcoming year and hopefully when you see this video, you'll consider using the additive manufacturing services. It's very easy to peel this off. Honestly, easier than the consumer for the printer. And the servers, they are pretty smooth. I don't know how they are going to uh, scrape off this, but I'm just doing a rough job here. But even with a rough job, there aren't many unfinished dots left on the print model. I will leave that up to the professionals to decide how to do it. So before we put my overall model into the curing chamber, uh, the second step is the worker help me to put my overall model into this autosonic cleaning equipment. It took about three minutes and now it's finished and ready to go. I'm ready to put it in the curing chamber. All right, the next step is I'm going to put my overall model into one of these huge curating chamber and it takes about four to five minutes for it to curate. So let's put it in. It's gonna take four minutes. There are some lights inside. And I just turn the power on. All right, time is up. Let's take out our model and take a look. Wow, looks great. I'm not sure if I've removed all the ducts, but it looks so smooth. All right, next step, I don't know. Let's leave it up to the professionals. These are the temporary shells for the finished 3D printing parts. These are small objects, and these are big, objects that are finished. I don't see any unfinished dots. They look pretty good. I think the workers has put in some efforts to make it look this good. All right, now we are in the MJF 3D printer room. MJF stands for Multi-Jack Fusion. And this is not a 3D printer, this is just a processor, kind of like a processor machine for their powder. First, they have to do the cooling and then they are going to move these fill units into the other room before they start printing. So let's go into the other room. All right, this is the build bucket I just showed you in the other machine. And this is the main printing head and fusing head. Of course, I can open it. There are two molars on either side of the pocket. I want to push it in, but I know I'm not strong enough. So on the top here, there are three basic elements. One is an array of light, and there is a thermal camera and the other box to go back and forth for the process. It curates and snaps and melts it, basically 
it's like a binder. And the last step is going to be in the other room. Because these machines aren't actually working right now, I can show you the detail. But the next step is going to back here and the worker is going to extract the model and dust off all the extra powder and extra powder will go back and being recycled. And the last important step. All right, this is the last step. The last step is media blasting. It can be automated or done by hand. After this process, you have a super fine smooth surfaces. And I'm going to show that to you in the later video. Now, JLC was kind enough to print this new 3D scan I recently sold as an NFT. And I'm sending a physical copy to the buyer as a little thank you. They were very generous. I'm still a little skeptical on NFTs due to their environmental impact, but it was an interesting experiment and gave me a nice little next egg to put towards buying an apartment or car one day. In future videos, I'm going to compare the physical properties of JLC's 3D prints and my home FDM prints. So you can see just what sort of differences there are with home versus commercial additive manufacturing. In the meantime, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.